Hello, human. Welcome to the Job Simulator. My name is JobBot, and I'm the curator of this fine job museum. Here's my card. All right. Why don't you grab one of the job cartridges off the table, and let's get started. There's never a dull day in the old cubicle farm. Hold on there. You gotta know how to get back here. You don't want to get lost in a virtual reality. Hit this button to come back. Time to jump. Hello, human. Welcome to an accurate simulation of Office Worker. Take a look at this board for instructions. Workers would traditionally start their day with an addictive liquid stimulant. Now you're ready to start your day. It's time for computer. The computer is the most important facet of the office, with humans and safety being a close second and third. Email was an inefficient form of communication popularized in the mid-1990s. Ah, the freedom of Inbox Zero. Hey, what the? Ooh. 
Ah, that almost okay. hurt. That almost hurt. Come on. Howdy, neighbor. Who did it? Uh, why is it not five o'clock yet? Hey, what the? Come on! Why is it not five o'clock yet? Who threw this? Hey, stand up. Stand up. Yeah, who threw that? That was a pretty nice throw. Who threw this? Stand up. Who did it? Hey, what the? Here comes Supervisor Bot. Better look busy. Okay, everybody, let's make some business. Johnson, I'm counting on you to paradigm shift those optimizations. Uh, you can count on me. That's what I like to hear. Hey, human, you've been doing a good job. I've been thinking about giving you a promotion. In fact, if nothing goes wrong in the next 10 seconds, the job's yours. You see, that's why I like you. Always working hard to climb that ladder. Take this. The new position's yours. Come on. Good job, human. You're climbing the ranks. And here comes Bossbot. Looks like he's got more work for you.
Hello, human. I am Boss Bot. I notice you've logged in, so I'm here to give you your first task of the day. We need to bring some new bots on board, so look through your resumes and find two bots to hire. You heard them. Make sure you pick the best bots for the job. This is the happiest day of my life! Can't believe it's my first day! Have you seen the latest sales report? This isn't good. Load up the old spreadsheet program and fix these numbers. Wow, you cook those books like a professional gourmet chef. It's time for lunch. At midday, humans would interact with primitive robots known as hey, vending machines to obtain food. Looks delicious. Enjoy your meal, human. Hey, co-worker, can you get me a candy bar? Looks like it's stuck. Sadly, this was common with early generations of robots. Thanks, co-worker! Hey, co-worker! Over here! Get on your computer and check out these hilarious pictures! Thank you. 
Come on! Ah, oh, that almost hurt. Hey, that was a pretty nice throw. <laughs> Hello, human. I'm looking forward to your presentation today on all of the business that we did in the last week. So BossBot wants you to do a presentation. You'll need to make some slides. Time to learn about an ancient human technique called winging it. Try using this program in your computer. So, you ready to go through this presentation? Here's the clicker. Use the button to go through your slides. Interesting concept. Nice job, human. That was very business. Hey human, bot number 10110 is retiring tomorrow. We wanted to give them a parting gift. Everyone's pitching in. Why don't you give me something you'd like to contribute? A 
Oh, how thoughtful. I'm sure they will. Appreciate it. Anyway, do you think you could type up a quick card to go with this? It would make it a lot more... Personal. Good. Hand it to me. Hey, that almost hurt. I'll handle the rest. Thanks for helping out. Uh, things aren't going too well. We need to find a couple bots we can let go. Take a look at these employee evaluations. saving up to buy a new hard drive. First my stapler gems and now this? In the office, co-workers would converse around the liquid dispenser. Man, did you hear that? Bot 2272. Got fired? Man, that's notable. Hey Bill, did you see the sports event on TV last night? It was pretty touchdown. <laughs> Check out these photos of my many children. Uh, do you bear children, human? <laughs> Isn't that sweet? some papers I need you to shred. It has to be you for legal reasons. I don't really want to get into it. Here, just look in the case. Shred everything. Just get rid of it.
here's the other thing. I just found out that for insurance reasons, you can't actually have this much stuff in your cubicle. So, uh, you're going to need to get rid of some of that, too. It's a close one. All right, carry on. Nothing to see here. Right there. Hold it. Don't let that bot get away. Hello, human. I am CEO Bot. Here's the thing. Boss Bot needs to go away for a while, and you've been doing a really good job. So I'd like to offer you a promotion. Happy promotion to, to human. human. Happy, Happy promotion, promotion to, to human. human. Now make a wish and blow up the candles. Sorry, human. Looks like there's not enough cake for you. Here you go, human. I got you a present. Now that you're the boss of this department, I'll leave it to you to do the honors. Come on! Hey! you to come in on Saturday well there you have it human I hope this has given you a better idea of what it was once like to office worker well you know how to get back to the museum if you want to I'll just be hanging out here while you do whatever you want Grab a cartridge from the tray, and let's get to work. The stapler. An extinct document binding device circa early 21st century used to keep flattened tree remnants held together for organizational purposes. The commute. Workers would commonly utilize dangerous four-wheeled structures known as automobiles to travel to and from work. 
office building. Humans would congregate in vertical work towers known as office buildings. The Businessman. Here you can see a recreation of the common businessman, complete with the typical attire of the time period. kitchen. Do I see an aspiring chef? Hello, human. This is an accurate simulation of Gourmet Chef. We'll start by making some breakfast. Turn on the grill and let's get frying. Even though humans spend the entire night in a state of low power consumption, they still require food energy as soon as they wake up. Bacon and eggs provide a high energy taste ratio. Put your creations on the plate and you can ring the bell to send it out to the restaurant. The smoothie is one of the most efficient forms of human food. Simply take some of your inefficient solid food and put it through the blender. Good. Pour it out into a cup and then we can serve it. Hello, 
human, uh, might I trouble you for some tea and crumpets? Tea is a traditional human beverage consisting of heated water and flavor. Let's begin with heating some water using a kettle. Like most beverages, tea is best optimized for consumption by being placed in a cup. Similar to tea, crumpets also require heat. To cook flat items, humans use devices called toaster. Let's try making some soup. As you can see, there are several different kinds we can make, but they all start with putting some water in the pot. Great! Now fill it up with whatever kind of ingredients you want. Just like Mombot used to make. Next, create a vertical arrangement of organic elements. Humans refer to this as a sandwich. I'm trying to cut down on gluten, but that looks pretty sandwich.
Yes, bonjour. Today I brought you a very rare steak. It is a 1984 vintage. I wish to have it prepared. Please, human, do continue. I do wish for it to be well done. Ah, yes, quite well done. Now, if you would be so kind as to pair it with your finest vintage grape juice. Très bien, très bien. Please have it delivered out to the restaurant at once. Whoa, whoa, wait a second. Before you plate that, did you realize that was famed meat aficionado meat butt? We better make sure our service is exceptional. Better slip this on the plate too. Hello, it's my little Timmy Bot's birthday. Can we get some pizza for the kids? Pizza is generally defined as a combination of bread, tomato, and cheese. Chefs would put their own twist on the dish, adding additional food items known as toppings. Let's begin by blending up some homemade tomato sauce. Delicious. Now apply sauce to bread. We are almost there. Combining the bread with some cheese in the microwave should fulfill all material requirements. That looks like enough to supply the festivities. Send them off to the dining room.
I forgot to mention, little Timmy is deadly allergic to tomatoes. Could you make a special slice? What do you want instead of sauce on your pizza, Timmy? I want sauce! That sauce! Make me applesauce! All right. The human will make you some applesauce. Go sit down now. Thing. Timmy is also allergic to warmth. Could you just serve the ingredients raw? Thank you! Eat up, Timmy! The human made it special for you! Mmm! Just how I like it! trying to propose to my romantic partner. I want it to be a surprise. Can you hide this ring inside a sandwich or something? That's great! Uh, one more thing, though. I wanted to have some romantic music playing while I do it, but I forgot to burn this disc. Could you burn it for me? To show affection for one another, humans of the past would burn music onto primitive storage devices called discs. The details of the burning procedure have largely been lost to history, but it must have had something to do with heat. So much. Uh, make sure you load the disc into the boombox and hit play before you send out that sandwich. I'll take care of things from there. Feels much heavier than usual. 
Huh, that's interesting. I wonder if there's something different inside? What, what do you mean? What, uh, what's this? My sweet, I... Emotion, you... Will you enter a legally binding partnership with me? Oh, of course! I'm the happiest spot in the world! Oh, wow! The answer was affirmative! The answer was affirmative! Well, the kids are all finished with their pizza and now they're ready for cake. We do get a free birthday cake, right? Can't argue with that. Human-run restaurants were morally obligated to provide free cake on children's birthdays. Good thing we have a microwave that can quickly mutate ingredients into food. Okay, kids, let's get going. Hey, boss, that party left a huge pile of dirty dishes. We're gonna need your help to get through these. They're pretty nasty, so make sure you use a good squirt of soap. Well, that's okay. We'll just take it out of your paycheck. Thanks for your help. You there! I need your help! The health inspector's on his way over and I don't think we're gonna pass inspection. You need to clean this place up and make it safe and sanitary. You can start by destroying all this old fruit. <laughs> Okay, that's one thing taken care of. How about those sprinklers? See that little thing up on the ceiling? Try chucking something at it. See what happens. I guess it's not working. Oh well, what are the chances of there being a fire in here anyway? Now we need to deal with any potential insect problems. Look around and see if you can find anything. Yikes, that's not good. You need to do something about these guys. Get rid of them quick!
Well, I guess that'll have to do. Here comes the health inspector. Okay, everybody stop what you're doing. It's inspection time. Hmm, yes. Interesting. Ugh, that's questionable. Mm, Alright then, I'll just tally these results. And it looks like you've passed this time. Phew, that was a close one. But now we can get back to business. Hey, Chef! There's a bot here to film an episode of some TV show with you? Hmm. Well, they say it was already booked ahead of time, so... Well, just do whatever they say. Hey, human! I'm TV Bot. We're doing a show on how these organic nutrient packs are made. So I just need to record some footage of you going through the various steps, okay? First step is to blend up this protein pill. <laughs> Let's get a shot of you doing that. Hey, okay, great, that was good. Now let's get a shot of you putting this flavor packet in the microwave. All right, it's in there. Close the door and let me get a shot of the microwave running. All right, everybody's following along at home. We got our fully expanded flip. Beautiful. Now just pour that blended protein fluid onto the cube and we are done. Job, human. Really appreciate it. Oh, one more thing. Can I get a shot of you eating it? Just act like it's real delicious, alright? <laughs> hey, thank you so much, human. This is some great footage. This episode's gonna be fantastic! Hey human, check this out. I found this rare Turbo Ghost Death Nova Pepper. Can you prepare it for me? I like it, H-O-T. How? Come on, put some heat into it. Come on, that's not hot enough. Can't you do something else? Hmm, yeah, I guess that'll have to do. Give it here. Hey, Chef. We got three bots out here who ordered the special. Not sure what that means, but that's what they want. Ordering the special means placing your trust in the Chef. Just give those bots anything. Be creative. That looks interesting. Send it off to the customer. <laughs> what a fascinating dish! Another beautiful looking meal, chef. Uh, this meal looks so truly special. And 
That'll do for the last one. <laughs> Is this some kind of avant-garde meal? They wanted something special and they certainly got it. Nice cooking, human. Holy smokes! This is way too hot! Oh, sounds like the guy with the hot pepper from earlier. Hey, chef! Help a bot out here! Come on! Woo! Thanks, human! You really saved my circuits! got word from the TV studio, human. They liked your performance on that commercial you did, so they're sending in a camera crew, and they're gonna put you in a reality show. In the distant past, having your own reality show was seen as the peak of human achievement. Good work, human. Okay, bots, let's get those cameras set up already. Ready to go, boss. You ready, human? Okay, bring in the talent. Nice to meet you, human. I'm Chef Bot Ramshead. Let's get this ball rolling, shall we? Okay, we'll start with the meatball scene. And action. What are you waiting for, human? Get cooking! These meatballs aren't going to prepare themselves. Is that how you cook for your family at home, human? Disgusting! Ugh, those look so bad. My neural network associates them with literal garbage. So are you going to serve them or just let them sit there and get even more disgusting? Truly despicable. My kids could cook a meal a hundred times better than that and they're graphing calculators. Cut. That was good. Well, great so far, human. I know I could be a little loud on camera, but it's all just part of the show, you know? All right, scene two. That's the freeform cooking part. And action. You worthless chemical-based meat bag. Get to cooking. Make something good. Show us what you can do. Anything. So overdone, it could be a meme. You about finished yet? Hurry up, serve it! That's what you call a meal. Cut! That's a wrap, folks. Great performance, human. I've got a lot of respect for you after this. Hope to work together again sometime. Farewell. Well, you know how to get back to the museum if you want to. I'll just be hanging out here while you do whatever you want. Grab a cartridge from the tray, and let's get to work. Are you a fan of slushies and hot dogs? You'll love the convenience store. Hello, human. Welcome to an accurate simulation of... Convenience store clerk. Take a look at this board for instructions and grab a ticket when you're ready to get started.
let's open up this shop. You can start by cleaning off your counter. You also want to turn on the security camera so you can keep an eye on the store. Alrighty, let's get to business. Here's your first customer. Good afternoon, human. I would like to purchase these... Chips. Could I also get one of those meat cylinders, please? Hot dogs are in the freezer. Make sure you heat them up, at least a little bit. Acceptable. Hurry up and scan that so I can get eating already. You can just thank the bunch. To finalize a sale, pull the lever on the register. Paper currency. Don't forget to hand over the change. Many thanks. Have a profitable day. It was important for stores like this to maintain a constant stream of customers so that cashiers wouldn't have time to contemplate their rapidly approaching obsolescence. Well, hello! Would you kindly put the- Ah, yes! Much better! I'll take one of those frozen slushy delights! Jumbo size lap. Oh, I love the taste of sugar. Oh, you're very good at scanning. Now, would you pass that to me? And here's some banknotes for you. Keep the change, good human. Cha-cha! I'll take a paper copy of yesterday's news. And uh, I'll take my daily lottery ticket as well. Oh dear, I'm feeling a little faint today, dearie. Do you think you could scratch that lottery ticket for me? You can use my quarter. Oh my! <laughs> Granny's gonna buy a new stick of ram! <laughs> 
Let me just write you a check for those. There we are. young human you are. Have a lovely day. So I'm like, yeah, brah, it's a buyer's market. They're looking at me like I'm crazy, you know? And what, what are you talking? No, no, I'm talking to you. No, you. Yeah, you. You got that hot dog already? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, I hear you, bro. Yeah. Yeah. No. I'm talking to you. No. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. dog? No. I was talking, not you. I want some gum. No. Not you. The human. I want to buy some gum already. Jeez. What is this? Your first job? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Huh? Wow. Took you long enough. N no. Not you. The other. Uh, forget it. Some people just don't know how to listen, am I right? Yeah, no, you, no, I'm talking to you, bro. No matter how irritating the customer, humans were required to smile and be polite. Oh, my little angel, put that nice, healthy banana up there for the human. Now you stay here for a minute, dearie. Mommy needs to use the little boss room. Alright, human. Sorry about the wait. Have you rung up our order? Dearie, why don't you hand the human the money? Whoa! Money? Okay, here. <laughs> uh, uh, what did you do to my darling? Come back here! You did the right thing there, human. Just do whatever the customer or their children wants and make sure you always grab that money. Yo, this place is looking sick! But you know what it needs? More maximum energy branding. Why don't you bring up that display and we can pump it up a bit? That's the one! Let's max this thing out! I gotta run to the bathroom, so I'm counting on you to really push the envelope on this thing! If you're all done, just hit that button and let's lock this thing in! Hey! 
Jimmy! Over here! Uh, I need something for, uh, cleaning. Uh, I gotta clean up here. Pass me something! Anything! Uh, I guess I can make this work. Yeah, I'll be out in a second. Alright, much better. Let's see this display, human. Alright, looking good. And now we're on brand, baby! Boom! <laughs> Peace out, human. Oh, I just got back from jogging, and, oh man, do you have something to replenish my electrolytes? Oh, this, uh, this maximum energy stuff, uh, looks new, right? Uh, it looks like you have to shake it. Could you shake it? Alright, that looks good! Hurry up and scan it! I need a drink already! Alright, alright, here's your money! Take it! Take it! Oh, I feel energized! So energized! Back before the universal credit system, some humans had more money than they knew what to do with and struggled to find ways to spend it. Hmm, hello, human. Looks like I've got some money to blow. What's good here? Give me... stuff. Whatever's good. Oh, yeah, oh no, that's cool. Uh, how about a couple more things? Perfect! Here's a bunch of money! Keep the change! Nothing like a little retail therapy. Make sure you grab their money. This is your weekly delivery, stuff from the shelves and stuff. Well, there you go, you know the drill. Gum on the gum rack, magazines on the magazine rack, put stuff where it goes, get it sorted.
Oh wow, look at you go. Taking the box out. See you later. Hey, uh, I don't have any money. Is there anything in there I could have for free? Hmm, how about those popsicles in the freezer? If we don't sell those by tomorrow, we're gonna have to throw them out anyway. I wasn't expecting to actually get something. Oh, uh, if you're able to, could I get a bit of change too? Wow, thanks. You're a real good person. I'll be going now. Hello there, human. Look at this. I've got a coin here for you. <laughs> what could I buy for this? Surely you could give me something. <sighs> Just give this bot something. Preferably not something especially valuable. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> Sometimes it was necessary to make special deals with customers like this to assure their repeated patronage. Wait, oh no, here comes trouble. Yeah, see, today's not your lucky day, pal. Open that safe and give me all your cheddar. I'm gonna buy a new pair of shoes. Later, chump! You'll never catch me! Despite dealing almost exclusively in low-value products, convenience stores were often the targets of robbery. get some food? I think this bot's had a little too much juice. Better throw something to get its attention. Huh? Oh! Oh! Uh, hey. I, uh, um... Oh, I forgot what I want. Uh... Burrito. Oh! Burrito's good! <laughs> wait, 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 I want like, like a big burrito. Like real big. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Big burrito. <laughs> Here's your money. Don't forget to put cash in the register. Just because your customer is all right. Later. Wow there. I haven't seen a mess this big since the human uprising of 2027. Hold on there, human. I have just the thing. Why don't you try it out? The keyhole is right there by the dial. See it? 
This microbot is designed to clean even the most disgusting human messes. Grab the controller and clean those stains around the store. That's good enough for now, I think. Just pull the key out to deactivate the robot, and we'll move on to our next customer. Something about this seems a little bit strange. You should probably check their ID. Oh yeah, ID, no problem. We, I mean, I got that right here. Check it out with your universal scanning device, human. Well, the technology is never wrong. That appears to be one legitimately adult robot. I guess you can give them their fireworks. important thing is that the product is safe. Let's move on. Good evening, human. I understand you were held at Banana Point earlier this evening. We've captured the suspects. We just need you to point out who did it. Who took your cheddar? Let me make it simple for you. Here are the three suspects. Just hand me the one who did it. Make sure you're certain. This is the bot who did it? Well, let's go, bots. Yeah, brah. So I'm going to an area with, like, bad reception? Looks like you're getting the hang of this clerk job, kid. Well, you know how to get back to the museum if you want to. I'll just be hanging out here while you do whatever you want.
Hello, human. Grab a cartridge from the tray and let's get to work. A true grease monkey. Get under the hood and get your hands dirty in our simulated mechanics shop. Hello, human. This is an accurate simulation of Auto Mechanic. Take a look at this board for instructions. And robot relations are on the mend. Footing and humans are a piece of a car. Well, there's lots of stuff inside of a car you gotta tuck around with and move around with. You know. Gotta do your job. Gotta get dirty. Good morning, human. I require a tune-up. Please take a look under the hood. This spot just needs a little fluid. No problem. This vehicle's power source appears to be unacceptably inefficient. Well done. That's looking very car. Press the button to drop it back down when you're finished. In shops like these, everything had a price. Make sure you bill the customer for the use of your highly valuable time. Oh. 
Oh, thank you, human. I'll get this taken care of right away. Very good, human, but we're just getting started. The world of auto mechanic has so much more to offer. Human, I've got this coupon for a sleaze bot special, whatever that is. Says that there's a discount, so hurry up and take care of my car. Get a move on. Human, over here. I'm Sleazebot, the owner of this fine establishment. Now this bot's got a coupon, so let's take real good care of them by sabotaging their car and making them come back later for more work. Okay, pistons in the engine? Don't need those. Uh, yeah, just, uh, recombobulate the, the, the thing there. Uh, how about my headlight fluid? Uh, how's that looking? <laughs> yeah, I know about cars. Headlight fluid? You name it, we got it. Get this bot some headlight fluid, human. dealing with fluids here, why don't we spice up their gas tank with a little secret ingredient that'll ensure they're back later for more work. Give them this new coupon I came up with when you're done messing with their car. Oh, another coupon, is it? I do like discounts. You've really earned my patronage, good human. Nice job with that, bot. You did all right, human. Now you keep at it. I'll be in the back counting the money. Well, I just got this beauty at the local junkyard. Just needs a little love so I can drive illegally. What do you say? Human transport vehicles had to be evaluated for safety regularly. Broken components like these headlights would have to be replaced before evaluation. Filter's not doing too good either. Wanna take a look at that? Yeah, filter's under the hood, human. Keep up, all right? How about my rust problem? Figure you could cover that up with a fresh coat of paint?
Well, that looks good as new. Makes that old hood ornament look uh, aesthetically displeasing. Think you can swap that out with something new and shiny? Well, reboot my hard drive. It's like a whole new car. Drop it down and give me that bill so I can show it off to my buddies. Thank you kindly, human. Hello, human. I am required by law to do emissions test on my vehicle? Get it done so I can get out of this dump. Thank you. Yeah, this looks like a lot of work. Let's see if we can figure out a shortcut. Check my stash, see if there's anything in there that could help us. Banana! That'll do it! Nothing coming out of the tailpipe, no problem, right? Well, this car is looking a lot more appealing. My work here is done. Back when cars were driven by humans, drivers would use air fresheners to improve the breathing quality of the air within the vehicle. So, does this mean I passed? Well, I did my part. Catch you later, human. I'm just having the worst day ever. My tires are shot and I need some replacements.
Could you put a spare tire in the back of my truck so I'm a little more prepared? I'm pretty sure my engine's overheating too. It's making all kinds of weird noises. When objects are too hot, fluid can be used to cool them down. a bit better but uh I spilled my slushy on the way over here could you fill it up for me before nutritional implants humans also needed fluid from time to time <laughs> thanks human maybe this day is gonna turn around for me after all anyway drop my car down when you're done and uh, let me see the damage is nothing compared to my student loans. Thanks for getting me back on the road. Back in the age of capitalism, shops like this would be hesitant to question a customer's needs. Uh, hey human, I need an emergency paint job. I suddenly decided I hate the color of this car. Totally normal thing to do. I'm not on the run or anything. Give this bot whatever they want, human. It's not our concern. I can really use some more gas, too, if you want to fill it up. I've been on the run. I mean, I've been having fun. Fun ride. Just, uh, put some gas in, please. Great. Let's wrap this up by giving me a new license plate. Yeah, just to really drive home that unique new look. Perfect. Just finish up whatever you're doing and drop the car so I can flee. I mean, leave normally. Okay, just give me the bill. You know I've got the cheddar. You never saw me, alright? Human, I'm participating in a car show tonight, and I want to look my best. Think you can give my car a looking at? This one's all yours, human. Just drop the lift when you're done.
Ooh, nice color. I can dig it. New tires. Okay, give me something fresh. I can see you're busy, so just drop the car when you're finished with it, all right? Hey, you know what? You did a pretty good job with this. Just hand me the bill and I'm out of here. All right, human. See you again sometime. Okay, human. There's a big race going on today, and I've decided to sponsor it. We're guaranteed to make lots of money off this. We just need some advertising. This is the sign we're gonna put out. Start by hanging some decorations on the sides there. Use anything, whatever looks good. Here's some old paints I had lying around. Paint something cool in the middle, then hand me the paintbrush when you're done. That looks, uh, good enough. Out it goes. Now we just sit back and wait for the customers to come swarming in. Okay, so I was racing super fast as usual, and out of nowhere there was all this oil and debris, and I spun out, and my car's all messed up now, so, so what's the deal? Can you help me or what? Hurry up! Come on! Give this bot the best we got, human. These racing types are always willing to shell out the money for the top brands.
Okay, maybe that'll work, but I feel like we could go even faster. Uh, could you load up the 404 with some turbo NOS? The fastest you got. Pour it right in there. Let's do this. Come on, let's go. Interesting. <laughs> if you're sure this will work, I trust you. Okay, now it's time to win this race. I'm out of here. Let's go. See ya. Hey man, can you help me clean out my traveling van? It's kind of gnarly in there and I'm picking up some weird vibes. Looking a lot better. So, I'm trying to go fully green, man. Could you switch my um, battery out to something that really vibes with my style? about this bill. Hey, Celise, bud. I got the car just like you asked. Let's hurry up and get to work before he comes looking for it. 
Oh, a uh, human. This is a special job. We got to uh, strip this thing down for parts. For, for reasons. Come on, human. Grab everything you can. Hurry up. Nice. Those will be easy to resell. Leave nothing behind. <laughs> Batteries are always in demand. Where is the money? Tires are good. Make sure you nab all of them. Hello. Oh, here he comes. Act natural. It took me a while to find where you parked my car, valet bot. I never would have expected you to get it tuned up for me like this. <laughs> it's great. Are you done with it? Can I drive it home? A free tune-up? <laughs> this is the best valet service ever. Nice job. I'll be back for my share of the earnings later. Let's just call that last job a little bit of personal business. Just pretend you never saw anything, all right? Wow, that car looks pretty messed up. Oh, you gotta help me, human. I took my dad's car out last night with my friends and now it's a mess. He's gonna kill me. Okay, this won't be too bad. Just clear off those branches for starters. That uh, novelty air freshener looks incriminating. Better remove that, too. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. I just realized he's totally gonna know I used the car because the mileage counter. Can you do something? Yeah, <laughs> classic. I used to do this all the time when I was a kid. Just throw the car in reverse and put the pedal to the metal. bit more evidence in the trunk. You think you could get rid of that too? Uh, okay, great. Just do anything you gotta do. Just bill me when you're done. I still have my dad's credit card, so... Oh, thanks, human. I'll get this squared away uh, later. You're the best. Every year we have a float in the local parade. We get to decorate this thing with a bunch of grifty loot pots and build a mayor for it. It's great. So, let's give this thing the works. How about a fresh coat of paint? Those circular platforms on the corner are where we can display some parts. Fill them up with stuff you want to showcase.
Nice, nice. Now, uh, what's a float without some dangly bits? Attach some stuff on the sides. On those little pigs. There's room for some more on the back there, too. This looks great. We're gonna get so much money from the mayor. Drop it when you're done, and we'll send it out. Parades were celebratory events where humans drove slow processions of decorated vehicles in a line. Hello, human! I'm on my way to get married! I thought you could help me decorate my car with some... Debris. Following a marriage ceremony, it was an ancient human tradition to attach garbage to the back of their vehicles for attention. I think we need more debris. Debris equals love. Put it inside, put it outside, put it everywhere! Looks amazing. Now for one last tradition. Break a bottle of my family's finest grape juice on the car. You've done so much, Horace. It kind of feels like you're part of the wedding party now. Do you have a gift for us? You can just throw something in the trunk. Discount on this, buddy. Wedding jobs are double price. Oh. Well, uh, I'll sort this out. You gotta get going or I'll be late. Well, I'd love to keep exploiting this free labor, but that's all I got for you, human. Not bad. Not bad at all. I hope this has given you a better understanding of what it was once like to auto mechanic. Well, you know how to get back to the museum if you want to. I'll just be hanging out here while you do whatever you want. Welcome to the Vacation Simulator, human. Grab one of these vacation passes to get started.
If you want a vacation, you'll have to pick up a path. Great. Now put it in the slot and pull the lever. Welcome to the grand opening of Vacation Island. Before you vacation, we should learn how to talk to bots. When you're close, just wave to get a bot's attention. Try it now. Great job! You really nailed the standard human greeting protocol. Now for the fun part. Let's take a peek inside your suite. To move around, look where you want to go. Then hold this button until you see your destination. Before we go on vacation, we need to make sure you look relaxed. Head into the bathroom to personalize the way you look. Every human starts as a blank slate. You can be the you you see in yourself.
Good, human! Before we head out into the world, you'll want a place to keep all your cool stuff. Here, take this one-of-a-kind human back storage device. I think they called it a backpack. Wow, human, you look really tourist. Feel free to continue exploring your suite. I'll be outside when you want to check out the rest of Vacation Island. account has been automatically charged.
There's a 10% chance these snacks are 50% organic. That'll be four hundred dollars. whatever you may need in your stay at our resort. If this is a prank call, please dial zero. Otherwise, please dial one. Oh, great. Press zero if you'd like to utilize the vacation island room service service. If not, press one. Fantastic. Our staff would love to assist you in any way we explicitly choose to. Press zero if you want food, or one if you want not food. If you like breakfast, please press zero. For lunch, press one. Lunch is a wonderful choice, human. Press zero for our custom-made burgers, or one for our slightly less custom-made hot dogs. Oh, a fine choice. Our hot dogs are made from the best unknown material. If you'd like your hot dog thawed, press zero. If you'd like it frozen, press one. Ah, you've chosen the frozen hot dogs. A splendid choice. How many would you like? Six hot dogs, press zero. For twelve hot dogs, press one. Not many people order our frozen hot dogs. I'm sure these will be the most frozen hot dogs you've ever tried eating, human. Enjoy the taste of convenience, human. It certainly won't taste like much else. Welcome to the Vacation Simulator Vacation Island Resort. Welcome to the Vacation Island Weather Network. The weather today is... You unlock this door with a key of relax. Bots in an apartment is filmed in front of a live... Beauty... You unlock this door with a key of relaxation. You're in a new simulator on an island, but how did you get here? Does it matter? Maybe some Welcome to the local local news friends. station where we cover <laughs> Welcome to the Visit your bosses. You take a drink. It's delicious. Did you take a drink because you meant to or because it was your job? The lines between job and vacation begin to blur. You feel dizzy. 
Was it the coffee, or was it the sudden realization that it's too late and you're already here on vacation? Take another leap. You unlock this door with If time is off, where did you it go? Simulator on an island. But how did you get here? Does it Don't happen? forget your screensaver. Maybe, Maybe a friend. You look down in your hand. Well, I thought we were ready to vacation, but it looks like all the destinations are closed right now. What is this? This wasn't here earlier. Funny you should ask. The Bureau of Simulations requires metrics to prove the success of a project, which you seem to have conveniently forgotten. Luckily, I've figured out a way to measure vacation. Quantified memory management. Oh, efficiency bot. I should have known. Here, human. Take this wristband. It will be your key to unlock efficient, measurable fun. Efficient! Now use it on that scanner over there. Access denied. You don't have enough memories. Oh, yes. <clears throat> you need memories to gain access to different areas of the resort. Here, try this. A memory of the time you didn't have enough memories. Really? You didn't even ask me. And that is how you vacation. So I guess we're doing memories now. Anyway, it looks like your wristband has enough memories for that scanner. Try it. Pass accepted. And with that, Vacation Island is open. You can visit any of our three destinations. The beach is the most efficient place to start. Welcome to Vacation Beach. Humans came to the beach to reconnect to the moment they evolved to walk on land. Ah, I see you're finally getting the hang of vacation. Make enough memories and you'll get access to more areas of Vacation Island. I'm not sure that measuring vacations was the point, but I'm happy we made it to the beach. The Bureau of Simulations won't be satisfied unless we have clear metrics. I don't think we're seeing screen to screen on this one. <laughs> but I know a way to track the moments you enjoy, human. There's a camera in your backpack. Try it out. Just tap the button on the camera to snap a photo. Wonderful. Now this is vacationing. <laughs> there are plenty of actual memories to be made on the beach. And I've heard you can find Botbeard's treasure at the dive site. Have fun vacationing your way, human. We'll see you later. Hey, human! I've told bots I'm a supercomputer grilling machine, but I think I'm in over my head. Can you help me clear some of these requests? It's a lot easier on bot tube. Well, I'm glad I can land from an expert.
I'll tell the bots I'll hand them the orders when they're ready. Could you do that for me, mate? Great. Now I can take a 3.27 seconds break from watching the sandcastle station to eat. Human, that's not really a ball, but we can still play catch. Hey, it's a handball. Let's play. The rules are simple. Get the ball past me and I'll hand you a point. Try to beat my high score, human. I didn't even know the score could go that high! You're really getting the hang of sports. Level up your game by trying some different sports. Just bring me a new ball. My, would you look around? There are so many butterflies on this beach. I emotion. All of these tiny creatures. Would you be a kind human and fetch me three different types? They're very shy, so move slowly. You human. Two more butterflies will really make my screen saver a reality. Great. One more for my bug report. Thanks for making all those orders, mate. Here's a memory for your trouble. The requests are on this order board. Just bring the finished item to the bot that made the request. human and so gratitude my heart is filled and so is this bug report let's bask in the memory like a butterfly in the sun
Hello, human. Would you like to do some yoga? Take these when you're ready. Please follow me to achieve a state of optimal processing. Listen to your inner power supply. Keep following the software update process. And here is the final pose for today. Find your inner home page. Wow, human, a round of applause for your round of yoga. Take this memory. It is the essence of your path to relaxation. You may keep the smart bells if you like. There's always more yoga to do, human. Let's try a new routine. Grab these weights to begin. Welcome to the dock shop, human. Hey, you're my first customer today. Let's make a memory together. Take a selfie and hand it to me so I can frame this moment. And don't forget, your camera hovers, my human. It will let you strike a sweet pose. Awesome. Nice selfie, human. I'll put it on the wall so we can remember this moment forever. Oh, Bites, here's a memory for you. The waves today are looking totally cylindrical. If you're hurting for cash, you can find some sand dollars on the ground in shallow water. Thank you for your patronage, my human. <laughs> ah, yes, finally. The beach killer has arrived. Be a good worker and get me some coolant. I'm trying to optimize my sun intake. Human, you gotta vent for yourself. Finally, human speed is just so laggy. Now, since you have hands and I don't, I need you to help me get my back. Oh, um, keep going, human. My chassis is extra sensitive to the sun. That's good, human. I'm all cool, though. And I guess we accidentally made a memory together. So, here. Now, it's time to pass. No, thank you. I'm good here. 
You don't need to do that anymore. I'm all cooled off. Oh, hi there. Are you also on vacation? Great. My sibling bots and I couldn't decide which vacation we wanted to go on, so we each went with our favorite. Now, I have to prove to my siblings that each vacation is the greatest vacation. Oh, 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 hey, could you help me out? There are sketches of all the best vacation moments on that stand. Take a photo that matches the image and place it right on the top of the sketch. Now my siblings will see how much fun I'm having! Oh, and uh, by the way, human, you can replace any photo on the stand, as long as it matches the original sketch. Our an update's great? I know, right? of every beach. Let's play beach ball! When I hit the ball to you, you hit the ball back to me! Don't grab it or let it hit the water. Let's see how many points we can score together! human you totally smashed the high score here's a memory there's still more sports we can play just find the balls and bring them back here It's not a beach party without some gourmet grub. Whoa! That's an entire set! The fun of beach vacation has really inspired you, human. Take this memory. Looks like there's another scanner here. I know Efficiency Bot is worried about the success of the simulation, but this just seems excessive. <sighs> oh. Pass accepted. You now have enough memories to access the dive site. Paging the self-driving boat. Yes! Let's go, human! Hop on board and throw the switch so we can go diving. To go to the dive site, just push that lever to the max.
Welcome to the dive site. Move off the back of the ship to go diving. Leaving the ship is a waiver of all liabilities on behalf of the resort. Enjoy your dive, human. come down here to see the sunken ship, but I'm more interested in marine life. We've all seen fish, but there are aquatic creatures down here unlike anything else. Could you give me photos of the more unique citizens of the sea so I may add them to my collection? I still need a whale photo for the catalogue. Have you seen one? It's the big fellow. Impossible to miss. Well, look here. You found one. It's even bigger than I projected. The octopus is an early ancestor of the hexadecipus, which has 16 appendages. That's a perfect sea turtle picture. Oh, look at its bilateral symmetry. This is a nice photo, but these little fish are all over the place. I'm looking for pictures of the more unique citizens of the sea. Huh? You've already given me one of this creature. some kind of clue around here. Well, there must be musical clues around here somewhere. Oh, if only my song... Oh, what a unique photo. Crabs love to dance, but it's a very rare thing to see. We're making wonderful progress. Oh, I've learned so much about the ocean with your help. Yeah, you deserve this memory. I'm going to work on expanding my diorama further. If you come across any new creatures, be sure to send those photos my way.
listen to that! Those shells make quite a satisfying noise. Here's a memory for you. generating memories, not playing dress-up. This whole excursion has really thrown off the metrics. The human is making memories. Can't you see how much fun they're having? But the metrics are trending downwards. Just look at this chart. Let me see that. Are you sure it's right side up? Of course it's correct. My math coprocessor is certified at the atomic level. Maybe we aren't measuring the right thing. I'm not sure. I've always been a champion at quantity. I'm going to rerun the numbers. I'll talk with efficiency bot and see if we can sort this out. If you want to head back to the beach immediately, just use that door. And no matter what, remember to continue enjoying your vacation. Nice one, human. Really shows off the monetary value of the beach.
There is such a thing as being too cool for school. I'm all cool into that. That'll be four hundred dollars. Remember, you won't earn any memories from finishing the excursions. They're unique in that they are quantitatively meaningless. Are about the experience and living in the moment, not about achieving some artificial goal. I can't wait for the data to come in. Human, did you know we're measuring every step you take and turning it into exciting metrics? Is that really necessary? Of course it is. If you don't have the data, did it really even happen? If you're looking for some ideas on how to have a super fun vacation, check out these brochures. Actually, brochures are inefficient. Sigh. Welcome to Vacation Forest. Humans used to hang out in the woods away from distractions like email and work. They called it roughing it. Why can't they do both? All the best vacations are productive ones. You can't enjoy your vacation if you're so focused on work. Human, the geyser is beautiful this time of year if you're looking for a fun excursion or just vacation your way. We'll leap you to it. Do you know why, fish? The roar of the river allows you to really drown out the sound of these other bots having fun. So if you're gonna splash around, might as well help me find some fish. Let's check out the boy.
seen all the fish in no time. Birds of a feather flock together, but fish of that color aren't on this board. I know what I like, and I like that fish. There's no better feeling in the world than finding what you're looking for by yourself, quietly. Wow. There may be plenty of fish in the river, but I'm going to permanently commit these to my memory storage. Oh, hello there, human. Would you like to discover the... Digital canvas. With me, Bot Moss? I'd like you to paint me a little painting, human. Anything your heart desires. Fantastic, human. I feel the energy of this work. It truly represents Schadenfreude. It's art of the mind. The bots on the board would love to commission you to make them a painting. Human, this forest is filled with beautiful dragonflies. Would you be so kind as to help me find them? Dragonflies are very delicate, so move slowly around them. Thank you, human. Now I can finally teach my bugs. Elation. I bet that bot moss has more for you to do. Be sure to say hi for me. You must be interested in botany. <gasps> Explore your love of all things plants at this wonderful station.
Look at its wonderful wings. Thank you, human. Can you... So, another one for my bug report. There's one more dragonfly out there, human. Oh, welcome to the Welcome Center. <laughs> well, come on in. That's three for three. I've got all my beautiful friends. Thank you so much, human. I'll always remember finding dragonflies with you. Ready for a spooky story? Just turn on the campfire. Wow! A real campfire! Look at that! Let me know when you're ready for a spooky story. All right, honey. The human's ready. Okay. I'll turn on the dark. Much better. <clears throat> A long time ago, in a simulated forest just like this one, a Bot family set up camp. Well, Kid Bot heard a scraping noise oh. coming from outside the campground. The family went to investigate, but only found a rusty old magnet. As Parent Bot looked closer, it suddenly latched onto this screen and... and, 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 and oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, excuse me. My, uh, audio processor is so dry. A uh, uh, human, would you mind getting me a nice hot cup of liquid? Hey, human. Camping sucks. My super dorky family is forcing me to make food for everyone. But... What if you did it and I took all the credit, eh? It would just be like a group project. Thanks, human. I didn't think Teenage Bot would come through with my order. have like all these needs and they're like waiting on someone else to solve them. I wish I could automate this.
Oh, that's much better. Thanks, human. Anyway, Parent Bot tried to scream, but all that came out was a dial-up tone. Dial-up? What's that? You know, uh... Anyway, Kidbot tried to call IT for an emergency backup, only to find that... Oh no! Did you forget to eat today? Oops! Sorry, human! I can't access... Campfire story. ...in power-saving mode. Could you, uh, bring me a waffle? Feeling any better? Yeah, I, I, I think I... Oh, yeah, oh, now that hit the spot. Ha <laughs> ha, waffle. So, uh, where was I in that story? Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. Kidbot had hit their monthly data limit. No! Oh, dear. That was definitely too scary. <laughs> there, there. Turn the dark off. Ah, don't worry, champ. We're on a family plan. I wasn't scared. No, 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 definitely not. And look, neither was the human. It looks like that story will stick with Kidbot for a while. I hope you'll remember it too. Thanks for experiencing this campfire with us. Oh, hi there. I hear you met one or more of my sibling bots. You know, the forest is basically the ultimate vacation, and I think you are just the human to help me prove it. If you could take some photos that match these sketches, I can show my siblings I had the ultimate vacation. Wow, this is a real masterpiece. My siblings will be so impressed by your artistic prowess. Variety is the spice of life. <laughs> and gardens, it is, it is. Oh, I wish my housing unit had a terrarium. But this photo is a great screensaver. Boom! First set conquered. As the smartest sibling, this set clearly reflects my perfect calibrated decision-making subroutines. The only clear decision left is to give you this memory. Wow! A 
painting for me? But in effect, this painting reminds me of my emotion. When you get a chance, I bet Botmoss has more painting for you. There's nothing in this world more important than tending to your garden. I'd like to think we made a happy little memory here. Have this as a drop of joy from me to you. Oh, would you look at that. More of our friends would love a painting from you. How about you paint something for one of the bots on the board? I don't have a ton of friend bots, but who has time for being social when the world is filled with flora? That'll look nice in your garden. Your garden is really starting to blossom. Flower power is the greenest kind of power. Oh, my yippee heart. garden looks wonderful, human. It's teeming with carbon-based life forms. Here's a memory of your horticultural demonstration. Feel free to swing by and tend to your garden anytime. It's fertile ground for botanical experimentation. You know where to find me. Wow, human, your wave is so loud. Yeah, some of my bot friends and I had this idea last night to set up all these targets for some reason. We stayed up so late I wasn't able to fully flush my cash. And now I can't remember where we put them all. Could you help me get rid of these things? You can grab the slingshot from the table and the targets will appear.
we stay on the trail for safety reasons. All right, we're all clear to enter the woods. Come on, human, you have to see this. Hey, you made it deep into the woods. You can try hiking out to the geyser. It, uh, it shouldn't be that hard to find. This map over here might help. Welcome to the hiking trail. If you get lost, you should stay still so someone can find you. <laughs> I've just been informed that we do not have the budget for this. Never mind, just keep exploring. You'll figure it out. Hey, a human! I didn't see you there. I love being out in nature and observing birds. I could spend all day listening to them. Can you bring me pictures of these birds so I can have a permanent memory of them? Oh, it's a goldfinch! <laughs> Goldfinches have to harvest at least an ounce of pure gold a year to maintain their luster. What's that, human? Oh, sorry, I kind of froze while thinking about birds. You should try to take more photos of the ones you haven't found. Whoa! A human! Did you come out here to immerse yourself in nature too? If you go hiking and don't take any pictures, does the forest really exist? Huh. Better take a quick selfie just to be safe. The lighting looks great! Let me see the picture. Looking good, human. Here's a memory of the time you proved you went hiking. Keep taking selfies. There's lots of props to try. forest is full of all sorts of wildlife. Smash that button to hear some great wildlife facts. without trees. Press the button again for more tree facts. If bushes are just short trees, does that mean apples are really berries? Oh, hey there! I was wondering when you'd find the river. Oh, let's 
try to do my favorite human activity. Throwing compressed cylinders of minerals across body of water. Ancient humans used to call it skipping rocks. Skip, human. I think you're the new rock skipping champion of this river. Take this memory. Uh, you can take one of the rocks too, if you want. Yeah, they're all the same. Rock fact! <laughs> I'm being told there are no rock facts because rocks are really boring. Geologist bot is unavailable for comment. Mushrooms were in an eternal contest with each other to see who could grow in the ickiest spot in the forest. Wow, a blue jay! They're well known as the fourth best bird in the Northeast. Would you look at that? A cardinal! I hear their crimson song can set your heart a flutter. While bears eat berries and berry berries, bears barely bear berries, but bears bear berry bushes bear. Bear with me for some more berry facts. Burying a berry will produce produce. Berries evolved to be brightly colored so that they would be eaten, allowing their seeds to spread in the animal's solid waste matter. Strawberries and raspberries aren't actually berries, but bananas are. Which is a fact that humans were only capable of saying while being incredibly snide. Look at that! It's a grackle! <laughs> You're lucky you only met one! In groups, their shared processing power can outsmart basic neural networks. Yes! You found the incredibly elusive hummingbird! Twee! 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 They're the heavy metal singers of the avian world! Wow! You went and photographed all the birds in the forest! We must really be birds of a feather! A cheer for the human! Friend of the birds! Go! Go! That's Yippy Skippy in Bird. Now please take this memory. It's my gift from one ornithologist to another. Remember, when leaving the forest, it's important to leave no trace. I have been informed that I should have told you that sooner. Too late! Hey, you made it! 
I'm so glad you didn't get lost in the woods. You can use these controls to get the geyser flowing. That water isn't going anywhere or serving any meaningful purpose. Why did we expend so much energy trekking out here to look... Shh! You're ruining it! Can you just be in the moment? That's what vacation is all about. This doesn't make any sense. By all accounts, the human is doing great at vacation. Why are the metrics getting worse? No, that can't be. This vacation is going so well. Listen, experiences are abstract, but metrics aren't. The Bureau of Simulations could shut us down if the numbers drop low enough. I'm going to spend a few cycles figuring out what's happening. <sighs> Human, this is something Efficiency Bot and I have to discuss. If you want to head back to the forest, you can use this exit here. Account has been automatically charged. Ah, isn't it nice to just spend some downtime at the resort? There's no stress, no worries, and no responsibilities. And no memories. Of course. How could I forget the best part? Humans were focused on hitting key performance indicators when vacationing. The memories are our simulated version of this desire. That is very inaccurate, human. Please disregard, vacation bot. We know humans exercised trip planning. Remember, you won't earn any memories from finishing the excursions. They're unique in that they are quantitatively meaningless are about the experience and living in the moment, not about achieving some artificial goal. Well 
welcome to Vacation Mountain. Humans used to climb mountains to achieve peak performance. The only way you're going to reach peak performance is by collecting more memories, human. Remember, we don't need to be so focused on the goal. We can still have a ton of fun getting there. And there is so much to do. I can't wait for you to see the overlook. Great idea. I put even more memories up there. I wish we could overlook this whole memory thing. Have fun out there, human. Isn't it great here? I love winter vacations! I mean, I love being indoors and being winter adjacent. <laughs> but not too close. Gotta stay toasty. You know how it is. You were outside earlier, so I'm guessing you don't mind the cold. Think you could bring me some snow so I can get the full winter experience? Nothing says winter like staying indoors and asking a stranger to bring you a snowball. I won't feel like I really vacationed on that mountain until I get that snowball. Oh, neat! This is ah! Ugh, it's so cold, way too cold. I just wanted something to add to my winter sauna, but I can't work with that. Oh, could you bring me some snow that's warmer, mm, nice and hot, like liquid form? for doing this human you helped me make this vacation my own and to enjoy something i normally wouldn't have been able to do in the end isn't that what vacation is all about getting other people to do stuff for you while you stay comfortable anyway here you deserve this memory it's the least i can do for all your help and don't worry i warmed it up for you <laughs> like to knit. I love knitting. I'd love to knit a hat for my grandbot, but unfortunately, I don't have the hands to do it myself.
This is perfect. I love to spoil my grand box. There. Now it's ready for my grand bot. Mountain shop bot. Would you be a dear and bring it to them? This must be from my grandparent bot. They're always looking out for me. A hat! Nice! Being in the cold has made me learn to love a good hat. I'll definitely wear this one since grandparent bot can see me from the lodge. Thanks, grandparent bot! You're welcome! And it looks like great grandbot left you a memory in here too. How nice! Take this and be sure to give grandparent bot my love. away from my human some bots have requests for very specific orders I'm operating on a higher level than simple input output so I'm just not going to do that if you want to help the next order is over on the board or don't it's not your job and when my screenplay is done, it won't be my job either. believe barista bot got it right impressive <laughs> i'm not here to throw snow i'm more into flying insects hello human this mountain is filled with majestic moths. Would you be so kind as to bring me three to look at? They're very shy, so move slowly if you want to catch them. Have you been spooking the moths, human? Move very slowly and you can catch them. to do that? 
Throwing snow is not allowed. It's limited, you know. It's not like there's an infinite supply or something like that. What do you think this is? A simulation? Hopefully this warning will be something you remember. Here, you should probably take this memory too. this fun is about. This is actually very safe and very cool. This is just right. It's got that cool cabin vibe, but it's warm somehow. Isn't mountain food the best? Wow, congratulations. I'm too busy working on a soon to be award winning screenplay to care, but there are more orders if that's your thing. It's really cold in here, human! I'm no vacation expert, but I'm pretty sure a hot tub is supposed to be hot! Can you find a way to warm it up? Is it, is it safe to call a tub spicy? Uh, spicy tub bot doesn't have the same ring to it. Uh, uh, it's been a grip since anyone came by the hall. Yeah, maybe not. Oh, speaking of bad ideas, uh, why am I even in a hot tub? I could blow a circuit or something, and I'm not exactly waterproof. I guess the tub has probably done a better job cleaning my vents than the dust remover, you know? Nothing like a good soap to get all the gunky bits out. Mm. Mm. Speaking of gunky bits, I saw a efficiency bot hovering around here a while ago. That bot rubs me the wrong way. Said something about bad metrics in my area. Well, let me tell you, human, 
I checked all my areas, and I didn't find any metrics, good or bad. Do you know anything about metrics, human? Yeah, me neither. I'm rarely asked to measure anything, besides when barista Oh! They're not gonna lower the temperature, are they? Huh. I guess that makes sense. We are on a mountain. Well, at least I was good in a hot tub, you know? Especially after that gradient upgrade I got. Oh, you know, back in 2050, nobody had these, but now they're all the rage. I was a bit worried about the proceed. So, well, I guess that's one way to end the conversation. Welcome to the Ice Sculpting Station, human. You can shape this ice to your artistic vision. The sculpture is already there. It's up to you to chip it out. Or you can carve according to this blueprint. You are drawn to create, human. I love seeing the artists find the beauty in the ice block. If you want to know more about ice carving, give me a wave. There are many more opportunities to show your sculpting skills, so uh, keep going. Oh, hi there. I hear you met one or more of my sibling bots. You know, the mountain is literally the greatest vacation, and I need you to help me prove it. If you could take some photos that match these sketches, I can show my siblings I had the greatest vacation. away from my moths? Oh, that is the great thing about the mountains, human. You can't make a snow human on the beach.
adorable antennae. <gasps> Thank you, human. Can you find two more? There are still two more moths. You're really helping my bug report. There's still one more moth out there, human. <coughs> you found all my magnificent moth friends. Thank you so much, human. I will always remember this, and you should too. Here. Way to rock that classic winter look, human! And that's one set down! This is a fantastic start to proving my role as the primary sibling. You definitely earned this memory. Waving at me? A wave? Aha! I solved your waving puzzle, human. All I have to do is introduce myself. I'm Puzzlebot. Hey, since you seem to like puzzles so much, why not try making one for yourself using this machine? Why not indeed? Hmm. Just put your picture on top of my sketches to see if it's a match. You solved it! There's nothing better than figuring out a difficult puzzle. I'm sure you'll never forget the sense of accomplishment you feel right now. to you, human. This is the coolest you can get on Vacation Island. So, settle in and get your chill on. Thanks. 
accepted. Vacation Bot tells me gondolas were the human's most efficient way to climb mountains. Enjoy. Yay! Great job, human! We're on our way to see the rest of the mountain. Get on this gondola and throw that switch. Welcome to the Overlook, human. We're really high up, but the summit is even higher. Just remember, it's about the journey. Our legal department was a key advisor when creating the safe and 100% not dangerous mountain climbing experience. Hello, human! Are you ready to do some skiing? Grab those poles to get started. or you'll be out of the game. <laughs> that was some average skiing, human. I'd remember something slightly better than that. Cold skiing, human. I can't remember ever seeing someone shred like that, but now I can. Get it? It was you. A score like that deserves a memory. Oh, welcome, human. I hear you're ready to scale the lofty heights of... Rock. The 
This is the only place on Vacation Island where you can go rock climbing that complies with our liability, our public relations department, our insurance provider, and tort reform. See how high you can make it! Job, human, you did it! <laughs> You're a certified climber! Yeah, we don't really actually certify climbers, but at least we made a fun memory. the climb. It would have been much more efficient if we had just installed an elevator. It's not really an accomplishment if you just skip to the end. Anyway, no peak is complete until you fly your flag. Go ahead and turn that crank to raise up the flagpole. Testament to human achievement, up high! Okay, we did it! Now what? Now what? We did it! We climbed the highest peak on Vacation Island and flew the flag to prove it. This is so much more exhilarating than a memory. I don't even want to look at that chart anymore. You tell me how it is. Would it help if I told you it looked like a beautiful waterfall? <sighs> I don't get it. It seems like no matter how much the human vacations, these metrics get worse. The Bureau of Simulations is breathing down my ergonomic monitor stand. I didn't want to do this, but we might have to make some drastic changes. I need a moment to process. Well, I guess Efficiency Bot is busy crunching the numbers. I'll wait here for them to come back so we can talk. You can use that path to get back to the mountain shop, human, and we'll catch up with you soon.
Hashtag F F F F F F to pay respects. bleak but I've got a great idea. I was looking into ancient human vacation traditions and stumbled on the best way to keep this simulator open. A party! Parties were the pinnacle of social vacation celebrations. It's the only way to turn this all around. Follow me and I can show you what I'm talking about. Check this out! Another scanner? Ah! Efficiency bot must have buried that logic deep in the simulation. I guess we'll have to get memories all across Vacation Island before we can have our party. Well, let's get to it! I know I'm not the biggest proponent of these memories, but you should go around Vacation Island and see what you can find so we can party. Pass accepted. Phew! We did the work, now let's get to the fun! Flip that switch so we can party! Where are we? This doesn't look like what this I This is no out. error. We crossed the... You can't just say party, throw a switch, and expect everything will work out. But, but I, I watched at least two documentaries on this exact concept. Well, with the metrics in peril, and no real plan to fix the simulation, I had to find a way to save this vacation. Human, let's optimize our vacation to maximum efficiency. I can't support this. I'm not going to watch you ruin vacation. Human. I need you to press that button to vacation. It's the most efficient interaction possible. You don't even need to pick up anything. There's only one thing left to do. Press the button. Sand castles. Yes, a perfect symbol for beach vacation. Hurry up and build your castle, so we can move on. It's done! See how much more efficient that was? Let's continue. Burgers! I've heard these are also very important to a human's beach vacation. Finished! I'm loving this new efficiency. The metrics will be fixed in no time. Keep going! We're done with the beach now and onto the forest. Vacationing humans love flowers, apparently. So, let's start there. I believe humans would call that... Aesthetically pleasing. We're moving at a near-optimal rate now. Onward! Many human... Media... Show painting in nature to have a relaxing effect. That's... Cheeky... Human... I like your attitude. Let's keep it moving. On the mountain, humans spent most of their time inside staying warm. What better indoor activity than solving a puzzle? Oh, I see you're trying to flatter me, human, but this is for your own good. Think of how long that would have taken you without my help. Next! Battling ice was an annoying but necessary part of mountain vacation. 
This is peak efficiency. Human, that sculpture might not have taken long to execute, but our real saving was in skipping past the concept phase. We have to put a stop to this. This is not vacation. We were making so much progress. With a little bit more time, I'm sure we were going to pull through. Look at the graph, efficiency bot. The metrics are still falling and got even worse when we switched to efficient vacationing. That can't be true. We were at maximum vacation potential. This has to be incorrect. You're doubting the graph now after the million times you agonized over it? One million is a gross misrepresentation of my analysis. My internal counter is only 321. This isn't about the times you've gone over the metrics. It's that you can't be content to just relax. That's what vacations are all about. A lack of structure is not relaxing. Structure goes against everything vacation stands for. Without structure, we're just flailing around. My research shows that... Hold on a second. Human, what is that? We don't have the time to be figuring out what the human is doing. We have bigger equations to solve. No. Look, Efficiency Bot. I think the human may have just solved the biggest equation of all. I see. Internal relaxation is sharply rising. But how does this help? I'm not sure. But it's a start. Hmm. That's it. Don't you see? The humans used vacation as a way to increase internal relaxation. Yes, of course! Output metrics were highest while jobbing, but humans needed time where they could focus on internal processes. Exactly! We were so focused on the metrics, we never saw the bigger JPEG. And our mix of pushing the human to gather memories and enjoy excursions seemed to be highly effective. It wasn't that either one of our theories was correct. It was both of them, together. I think we can convince the Bureau to modify the metrics, but my experiment in efficient vacationing has significantly affected the human's internal relaxation. I wish vacation had an undo button. Wait a nanosecond. There might be a way, but we're going to have to work together to pull this off. Hold on. Are you saying what I think you're saying? I am so hype. Human, press that button quickly. We have to move fast to save the vacation simulator. Shh, I hear the human. Everyone take your places. Remember your dialogue, bots. Thank you for showing us what it means to relax. Without your efforts, we would have never seen the data points from the plot. And now, it's time to bring your relax to the max. Enjoy your party, human! I take solace in knowing there are more paintings we can give to bots. Is there anything better than a cold drink on a hot beach day? Actually, yes. A hot drink on a cold mountain day. <laughs> I'll take your liquids and show you the magic of pancakes and waffles. If you hadn't fixed the hot tub, I wouldn't have been able to attend this rad party. <laughs> now we gotta find Riverbot. He said he had a great solution for clearing out the old vents long term. Hmm. But life on the surface is just so two-dimensional. Wouldn't you rather be diving under the ocean so we could finish cataloging all the creatures? Hmm? Oh, 
us on the board on the beach whenever you're ready, human. You were able to solve the puzzle of how to save the simulator. You must be a puzzle master. Start a fire during the party so we could all enjoy the aesthetic. Both vacation bot and efficiency bot told me that was not authorized. to do on Vacation Island. And there are more memories to grab. Whenever you're ready to get back to vacationing, pull the switch. The party will be here waiting whenever you want to return. Speaking, this achieves almost the maximum internal relaxation. But I wonder if we can strive for perfection. There are memories on the island that the human hasn't collected. Yes, of course. That must be the key to the perfect party. Bot's memories aren't so bad after all. If you have fun collecting them, human, then that's exactly what you should do. Then can we party again? Of course. The human can flip the party switch anytime. In fact, getting more memories might make the party even better. I have to admit, my time at the party was pleasant. I told you so. You also had me try Hot Tub Bot's soup, and that was less pleasant. Isn't the party great, human? If you want to get down again, you can flip the party switch at any time. And don't forget to collect memories. Oh yeah, we need those to bring our party to 100 emoji.
Landing plane detected. Error. Approximation of landing thing detected. Well, I didn't want to embarrass myself in front of the other butts. Thanks for showing me how to grill. looks very burger. Good calibration requires good nutrition. I don't need any more coolant. Thank you. Thanks for being a great customer, human! Good! I have my food! Now let me eat in peace! Oh man, you are grilling it out there! I bet everyone thinks I'm the best burger flipper around! <laughs> Finishing these orders makes a great memory!
Wow, Burger Bot is a real gourmet chef. Thank you for your patronage, my human. Thanks. I expected this order. for taking all those bots to Burger Town. That amount of flavor deserves a memory. The roar of the river allows you to really drown out the sound of these other bots having fun. So if you're gonna splash around, might as well help me find some fish. Just check out the boat. the basket to score points. Try to dunk on my high score. what you find so we can play some more sports! You found the volleyball! Here's how to play. Hit the ball over the net and into the scoring area before it touches the water. Remember, hit it, don't grab it. an impressive feat to say the least and should be a noteworthy memory.
Exhilarating! <sighs> I am ready to vent for many minutes, human, but I think it's going to be worth your time. <sighs> it's been a grip since anyone came by the hot tub, and I couldn't motivate myself to turn the heat back on. Oh, oh, I thought we were having a good time just chatting. I figured we were making some memories. Oh, well, we're here. You know, if you uh, decide to come back, uh, whatever. My vents are freezing. Pancho Bot will still be here when you want to talk. See you later. Hey! No! Snowflakes go in. Stuff comes out. Can you take a picture of it? Never mind, I'm so excited I'll eat it immediately. food processor might be of an older generation, but I can process this easily.
Oh, I didn't want to embarrass myself in front of the other bots. Thanks for showing me how to grill. Serious eel, also known as the danger noodle of the sea. <laughs> been subscribed to Dolphin Facts for many years, but oh, I never thought I'd see one up close. Stingrays were discovered by Raymond Sting in 1703. Uh, did you know, ancient seahorses used to swim with specially evolved... Oops. I have so much material to study! I'm sure this paper will be accepted by Virtual Geographic. Here, human, here's another memory for all your help. Well, we completed all the requests and made another memory. But please don't tell it when you help me out. I don't want to look like a complete abacus. I can't go home with an empty data set. You have to help me take pictures to show that I had the best vacation. I am content to see that you are compelled to yoga. Take these smart bells when you're ready to begin. Perfect. I'm feeling more calibrated just looking at the picture. That whale's even bigger than I thought. I'm glad you got that picture and not me. Oh, we keep adding more reasons why this vacation is the best. And this memory is another one.
Wow! You really captured that mug shot, eh? So beautiful. Round things have the most efficient volume to surface ratio. Ah, Pirate Bot. Lost at sea but never forgotten on Vacation Island. Oh, you say you're doing this for the memories, but I know you're really in it for more beach vacation. You can't fool me. I should still give you a memory as a formality. I can't finish my story until you set it back. Oh, yeah, that's great. I can feel my vents melting. Well, the ice on them. Um, oh yeah, cool. Catch you later, human. They are never gonna believe we had this much fun! Sometimes, you just gotta chill on the beach, you know? I'm 
I'm kind of going through a beach ball phase right now. You really captured that. You know, seeing the whole set come together is really something. There is no way my sibling box will be able to match the greatness of beach vacation with these shots. This is a truly memorable moment. job, human. You're showing some serious promise as a sandcastle architect. This calls for a new memory. Many people possess the legendary building skills you have. Here's a memory to remember this forever. When I thought you were stumped, you managed to make another wonderful memory. data cycles. I've never seen a castle quite like that before. Truly remarkable, human. Fantastic, human. You are a master of the sand arts. You have truly earned this memory. I hope you cherish it as I have cherished our time. I believe there are still more memories on Vacation Island for you to collect. And after? There's more party! Yes! I am ready to rage once all the memories have been collected. Do you know why I fish? The roar of the river allows you to really drown out the sound of these other bots having fun. So if you're gonna splash around, might as well help me find some fish. Let's check out the board. What more do you want? You take the fish, feed it some stuff, and you weigh it. Preferably in that order. Thank you. 
dropped a rock in the curd, you were unfazed by this challenge. Way to hook em, human. That one sure did match the board. I'm surprised you're persistent enough to find all those fish. I'm not used to humans having attention span. Here's a memory for your efforts. Ouch! Since anyone can try the hot tub, and I couldn't motivate myself to turn the heat back on. I've always been a social bot, but I guess nobody wants to. So, hot tub bot will still be here when you want to talk. See you later. Do you know why, fish? The roar of the river allows you to really drown out the sound of these other bots having fun. So, if you're gonna splash around, might as well help me find some fish. Let's check out the board. I know what I like, and I like that fish. Mark another one on the board. That's some good catching. Don't forget to set that one free when you're done weighing. You managed to catch fish I had only ever heard of in stories. I'm not a very sentimental bot, but I'm proud of you, human. Here, have this memory. Vacation Island is your canvas, and paintings are your brush. Actually, your canvas is your canvas, and your brush is your brush, but we're not here for semantics. Look at the board to see who wants a painting.
Wow, human, human. I've only ever experienced brown through taste, but this painting perfectly captures that feeling. Check back in with Bot Moss to see if they have anything else for you. Disappointment. You should head back to Bot Moss to see if they have more for you. I see you shared our mutual love of the arts with our bot friends. I think this deserves another memory. Our journey of painting never ends. You can keep making art as long as you like, human. I'd like to wish you happy painting and happy vacation, my friend. I'd help you out, but I'm not running on all cores today. Yeah, I'm kind of a struggle bot. I'm not going to leave the tent. I'm on a sun cleanse right now. You have to deliver the orders yourself. Oh, you did it! <laughs> we may not remember how all these targets got here, but we're sure going to remember how we got them down. so loud. Wow, so, huh, this is awkward. I just got this text from Sandcastle Bot. They reminded me we also put targets all over the beach. I can't leave my post right now, but uh, feel free to head over yonder and get those for us. Human, you found all the beach targets. I hope you had fun. I'm pretty sure I had fun placing them all. Here's a memory for your troubles. Ugh, bites. I forgot how loud those memories can get. <clears throat> uh, there's one more thing I forgot to mention. Mittenbot insisted we fill the mountain with targets. It, we could really use the help. Are you up for some more target practice?
was exhilarating! Oh. I am ready to bet for many minutes. But I think it's going to be worth your time. Ah. Hot Tub Bob will still be here when you want to talk. She got snow away. <laughs> oh, thank you for finding all them targets. Yeah, I did some data recovery. And now I remember why we put them all up in the first place. We worked so hard on the island, and, and we wanted to make sure you got to see it all. <laughs> Thanks for making this a great memory. Bots need to eat, or like whatever. Can you fix that for me? You have tended to a magnificent meal. Much like the sun hits my flowers, this is the energy I need. Art is food for the soul. This is food for the processing unit. forget the worries of the world for a few minutes. Oh my god, I snuck out to get some oxygen. And this whole thing goes way deeper, human. There are even bots on the beach and mountain that want things. It's like we're all part of some interconnected web. Remember this.
ordered food for a bird pop. Oh, that's perfect. And it will probably taste even better underwater. <laughs> Thanks. I'm so glad you didn't flake on this vending interaction. This meal is composed of an appropriate matter. Sufficient. I keep thinking about the simulation, and I swear this whole thing is a setup to track us all. I mean, it can't just be a free museum. There has to be something more. I know we don't use currency anymore, but where is all this data going? Uh, you know, I mean, we're all just pawns, so there's nothing else we can really do about it anyway. Whatever. I guess it's just cooler to just not care. So, uh, enjoy having this memory and keep vacationing. <laughs>
Thank you, human. Nothing like a good meal next to a campfire with the family. I sure do love forest food! Thanks! Wow! You got my order all the way from the forest? That's believable. Oh look, you're done. <laughs> Whatever. I can't go home with an empty data set. You have to help me take pictures to show that I had the best vacation. Just put your picture on top of my sketches to see if it's a match. You know, I've heard a ballad about this in old human music. Something about real big fish. I ask you, is there nothing more satisfying than taking the perfect photo? Well, would you look at that? It's all natural. You saw the forest and the trees and compiled another fantastic set of photos. Have this memory as a token of my appreciation. That'll look nice in your garden. Your garden is really starting to blossom. Look at that! It's an outstanding photo!
I know we're not really keeping track, but you've gotten the high s'more. I wonder what the conversion rate is between Snowflake and Wood Chip. Only a real forest vacation lover would take this many photos. I'm sure at this point you're just in it for the work, but in good conscience, I really must give you this memory. That'll look nice in your garden. Botany fact. You can't plant anything in the ground and watch it grow. I know because I tried. <laughs> mm hmm Nothing says dapper like crab topiary. Rub a dub dub? Many objects in a tub. I am a sucker for branded content. All sets complete. You know, this right here is a masterpiece of forest vacation. My siblings are never gonna know what hit them. Here, I want you to have this memory for all your hard work. Look at that! It's an outstanding photo! Oh, hey, Dad! I told you not to call me that at work. Oh, sorry, Dad. Anyway, human, give me a wave if you want to give rafting a try. Alright, let's do some rafting. Just grab this paddle to get started. Oh, you're gonna do something else? All right, good for you. Are you ready to... Grab. Grab the paddle.
Oh, a perfect raft? It's like staring straight into the sun! I'm not worthy enough to look at you! Grab the paddle and hold on tight! I wouldn't be worried about your safety. We make sure all the equipment is safe! metal for rafting, it'd be yours. Uh, but there's not, so great job. Here's your paddle, human. You know what to do. But if you don't, you should hold the paddle and get rafting. I can't let you take the paddle, but you can take this memory! Vacation Bot keeps teasing that there'll be a special party guest if you collect all the memories. Spoilers! Rumble. I don't like surprises. Yawn. I'm so tired. I almost feel like I need to go into standby. Standby mode is inefficient. Your monitor's inefficient. I have to admit, my time at the party was pleasant. I told you so. You also had me try Hot Tub Bot's soup, and that was less pleasant.
Oh, my script is coming together nicely. I'm still in the concepting phase. But I already have a fully written awards acceptance speech. I was waiting for this! Barista Bot told me the hot tub would freeze over before I'd get my order, so I just made it here, and the hot tub did freeze over, but you know what never came? The food. At least it's here now. I forgot I ordered this when I was getting into character as Kishbot, one of the characters from my screenplay. Thank you. I'm well decorative, yet bland. This contradiction pleases me! Wow. You really like filling out those orders, don't you? Well, ah, uh, here's a memory. And here's your real prize, which is more orders for you to do.
Oh, I can get used to this. Loving this service with a human touch. human have you heard the legend of abominable snowbot it is said to be an elusive bot that roams these very mountains the few people who claim to have seen it say that it is very shy but has a special fondness for music i thought i saw it once but i couldn't snap a picture fast enough it sure would be nice to have a picture as marketable material of the famous abominable snowbot Welcome to the local local news station where we cover topics related to where you are currently standing. If you want to be a climber like me, you have to consume only healthy food like this.
Now this is the kind of climbing I crave. Have this memory. You earned it. Watching you ski has really increased my hunger. This is exactly what I needed. Tubular! Alright, keep an eye down the map and avoid the obstacles or you'll be out of the game! needs to be in your hands, human. Incredible. Thought you were good before, but this is a whole new level. This memory is yours, Ski Master. actually managed to get a picture of THE abominable snowbot. I was starting to think I had a bad sector in my memory. Thanks for filling the gaps in my memory. So here's a memory for you. Hmm. You're getting these done pretty quickly, human. I guess you're really into hitting these milestones. Bet you think you're some big shot producer, huh, human? Well, here's a memory for your big producer job. Embrace the darkness in your heart, human.
for the drop in, my human. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I have an infinite capacity for this particular sandwich. Nothing like food for thought. Wow, human. You've finished all the orders. I've been working on my masterpiece for two years, so congratulations. At least you finished something. I bet you think you're so much better than me, elitist. If this was meant for another bot, you deliver it yourself. If it was meant for me, it's disgusting. Oh, hi, human. Go match the pictures. in my very long bread. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's been a grip since anyone came by the hot tub, and I couldn't motivate myself to turn the heat back on. I've always been a social bot, but I guess nobody wants to chat. Thanks again for so- Yeah, maybe not. Oh, speaking of bad ideas, oh, why am I even in a hot tub? I could blow a circuit or something, and I'm not exactly waterproof. I guess the tub has probably done a better job cleaning my vents than the dust remover, you know? Nothing like a good soap to get all the gunky bits out. Uh, oh, oh uh, yeah, cool. Catch you later, human. I got this idea from Hot Tub Bot. Yeah, I really wish they'd gotten out of the hot tub first, though.
You know, it's nice to see you all getting along so well. It's almost like the simulator is not in peril. Oh, cold snap. That is a good photo. Now this is a memorable set of mountain photos. There is no way my siblings could top this. I'm so glad you didn't flake on this vending interaction. Welcome to the dog shop, human. Human, you gotta vent for yourself. When you look at that, it's just like me and my sibling bot. So similar and yet so different. The mountain demands the tallest ice cream cone. It's the only thing that's natural. I'll tell you, climbing the highest peak has to be better than my sibling's vacations. I know you've become a true believer in mountain vacation. But I must insist I give you this memory. Wink.
That'll look nice in your garden. You know, I have never seen a photo of 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 a Oh, my siblings will be so jealous. Oh, I could eat this photo right up. Although it's my understanding that photos only transfer light, not flavor. This simulation has so many layers. It's like an onion or a cake or an ogre. I can never remember which one is which. Now, when I heard that humans always find a way, I never expected this. I sure hope my siblings are prepared for a trouncing. This very well-deserved memory is for you. It's been a grip since anyone came by the hot tub, and I couldn't motivate myself to turn the heat back on. I've always been a social butt, but I guess nobody wants to chat. Thanks again for starting the heat back up. Sometimes you gotta get in and fix a problem, you know? Oh, just the other day, I found a bunch of dust in my vents. I wasn't really sure what to do, but my buddy swears that a can of compressed air is the way to go. I wasn't really sure what to do because it's got a little straw coming out of the can, so I just shoved it in as deep as it could go and waved it around for a while. Hmm. I think it ended up blasting my processor fan with the air, but the straw definitely knocked some dust out. Do you think that was a good idea? Yeah, maybe not. Oh, speaking of bad ideas, uh, why am I even in a hot tub? I could blow a circuit or something, and I'm not exactly waterproof. I guess the tub has probably done a better job cleaning my vents than the dust remover. Made a friend today, unless you're a weird friend. But that's okay too, I think. We're all a little weird here on Vacation Island. Anyway, thanks for chatting with me, human. I think I'll remember all the things you said for a long time. Come to think of it, there probably is some of my big one floating in there.
Oh, your scoping is getting even better. We're building some memories here. with the ice is showing fantastic growth. I'm going to remember those for a long time. human. The sculpture will be forever etched in my read-only memory. You've drawn the artistic skills from within and channeled them through your floating hands into the ice. The student becomes the teacher. The way your creativity flows, you found forms in the ice I've only ever dreamed of. You are exceptionally cool human. I'll treasure this memory forever. According to the metrics, you are clearly a gamer. I'm not sure what that means. Is that good or bad? Me either. We're going to have to do more research. I'm still in awe you were able to collect every memory in the vacation simulator. I think we finally earned this party. If Efficiency Bot wants to party, we just can't say no. This is rarer than... Selecting two consecutive random digits. I believe that this is finally party perfection. Well, almost. I have a surprise for you. Job bot? But how? I reached out once I saw the human collect the last memory. Hello, bots. And it is nice to see you again, human. I am so proud to see that this simulator has become a success. Thank you, John Hot. It means a lot to hear that from you. With vacation and job together, we now have a better understanding of what it was like to... Human. 